In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Facebook account. Now we're going to do this on the Facebook app, but you can do this on the computer as well. I recommend though, just to follow along, you use the Facebook app. So what you need to do is first download it and once you've got it downloaded and opened, you should see a window like this. Now, once you're here, you want to click on create a new account at the bottom, and then it will go through the whole process. So we're going to click here, get started, and then enter in your name. So after you've entered in your name, you can then go ahead and click on next. And it's then going to ask you for your date of birth. So my date of birth is going to be the 14th of March, 1998. Let me know in the comment section below if you have the same birthday as me. And you can change this with the slider is very easy. So you can see 14 March, 1998, click next, then select your gender. So I'm going to select male. So you can select here either male or female, then you can click next. Now it's going to ask you to sign up via a phone number. If you don't want to do this, you can sign up with an email address instead. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. So I'm going to click here, sign up with email address, and then it will take us to the next window where we can go ahead and now enter in our email address. Okay, so make sure you've entered in your email address correctly, then click next. Then it's gonna ask you to create a password, so I'll just quickly do this now. Make sure you remember this though, otherwise you are gonna to have to reset it if you forget it. And now we've done that, we can now save the info. Now I recommend you save it just so you can log in easy. So I'm going to click on save. That's completely safe, it's just going to save it to your phone, so no worries on that end. Then click I agree to the terms, then it should load up your account in a second. Before loading up your account though, it is going to send you an email, and what you need to do is access your email and enter in the confirmation code. Now you can do this if you've got your email on your phone, or you can do it on the computer. All you need is to be able to access your email and then get the code. So once you've found the code and you've entered it in, click next. And what it's gonna do now, it's going to ask you to add a profile picture. If you click add picture, it will open up your gallery. You can choose an image. I'm gonna click skip for now though. If you want to add yours later or you wanna take one later on, click skip and you can always add one later. There you go. Now, welcome to Facebook Bradley. Now let's access our account. So if you want people to see that you're on Facebook via your phone number, you can go ahead and turn that on. Now, if you haven't entered in a phone number, then obviously they can't find any info. I'm gonna click not now though, and then we're going to skip this. We're not gonna import any contacts to Facebook, and we're gonna click next. And there we go, we are now inside of our Facebook account. And because it's a fresh account and it doesn't have access to any of our contacts, it won't suggest us any people. We can now go ahead and use it like usual and you can search for people and start adding them.